Okay, Olive Editor might be my favorite software, but I won't be biased if I say that Olive has introduced workflows that make Premiere and Sony Vegas looking like amateurs. Anyway, today is the first day that Olive version 2 is kinda working, so do the demo. But before, some context. If you're using Olive from Flathub, that's basically Series 0.1 and they haven't been updated for a full year. Reason is that Olive is getting a complete rewrite for Series 0.2, and you can check the development on GitHub. It is insane, even if it is coming from a single guy. Next I'm going to use Olive from Master, but first I want to make a quick demo on Olive version 1, for people who have never have seen it before so they can spot the differences. So, Olive version 1 from Flathub, and basically whatever video you watch on this channel is made with it. First thing is to create a new sequence. Then I will add my Plasma Corona video to the bin. And drag it to the sequence. And I will do a cut. That's because Olive 2 is currently slow with large clips, so I'm going to make a cut there too. Next I will go to the video effects and I will add a blur effect. Which is kinda my typical because I do the same every time I demo a video editor. And finally I'm going to keyframe it. So starting here from 0, and go to there all the way to 75. So if I play the video, this is what will happen. Everything okay? Now I'm gonna do the same on Olive version 2. So, Olive series 0.2 from Master today, and again the first thing to do is to create a new sequence. And we see already we have a complete different window for creating a new sequence. However I'm not going to describe any change, than the new node editor to apply our effects. So next we again move our video to the bin and drag it to the sequence as before. Except the obvious UI changes, there are more significant changes under the hood, like a different caching that hopefully will help faster playbacks without jumping frames. And meanwhile I made a video cut, and I will work to this small clip. Okay, so the huge change in version 2 is that we have a node editor to apply our effects. Working with the node editor means we also need some different viewports, but we don't have that yet so I will maximize this panel with the key above the tab, same key as Adobe. So this is my video input, and the other is for the sound channel. First I will remove this connection, with select and delete. Then I will right click, and from menu I will add a blur node. By the way we also have a command palette so we don't need to use menus. With control and drag I will connect video input to blur, and blur to clip. So that was pretty much the process and next I will just keyframe it like before. Something totally different than the most other node-based video editors, is that on all of we can do node-based compositing without leaving our timeline, which is an amazing workflow that simplifies everything. Anyway, so starting from this point, we add a keyframe and set the blur to 0. Then we go to this point, and set keyframe to 70. And play! Basically I can't really show much, because every 10 clicks the app will crash, but the node-based editing is really the major feature of all of Next. There is this always debate among people what's is actually better, nodes or layers-based compositing? I'm not going to participate because I work lots with nodes-based software, but just a couple of notes. First, Olive keeps it really simple and yet powerful, and second nodes-based editing makes super easy to edit your effects, or duplicated them to other clips. Anyway, that was all for now. I'm out.